It's Tuesday, June 27th. My name is Rich, and this is your 5-Minute Fix. All right, guys, so the other day, I watched a documentary about orcas. And what do you know? We have orcas in the news. I had to talk about it. I couldn't resist myself. Revenge of the Killer Whale. Recent boat attacks might be driven by trauma. I'm uh, going to assume that's what scientists are saying. Killer whales are pictured during a storm in the fjord of Skjervoy in 2021 off the coast of northern Norway. Researchers say orcas are stepping up attacks on yachts along Europe's Iberian coast. That was difficult for me to read. Scientists and sailors say orcas, also known as killer whales, are stepping up attacks on yachts along Europe's Iberian coast, with one skipper who's been pursued by the marine mammals on two separate occasions, suggesting that their tactics are becoming more stealthy. Delivery skipper Dan Chris, who had to be towed into port after orcas destroyed the rudder on a boat he was on in 2020, had an almost identical experience in April. My first reaction was, please, not again, Chris told Newsweek. Unlike last time, the orcas made a stealthier approach without the characteristic squeaks they normally use to communicate, he says. They made quick work of the two rudders in the catamaran Chris was delivering. Looks like they knew exactly what they were doing. They didn't touch anything else, he said. Most marine scientists have characterized hundreds of encounters between boats and orcas that have sunk at least three vessels and damaged dozens of others over the years as a fad, implying that the animals will eventually lose interest and resort to more typical behavior. But if that's the case, there are a few signs this behavior isn't going out of style anytime soon. According to a June 2022 study published in the journal Marine Mammal Science, orcas have stepped up the frequency of their interactions with sailing vessels in and around the Strait of Gibraltar, the busy waterway that links the Mediterranean Sea with the Atlantic Ocean. As NPR first reported last August, many scientists who study orca behavior believe these incidents in which often one or more of the marine mammals knock off a large chunk of a sailboat's rudder are not meant as attacks, but merely represent playful behavior. One hypothesis put forward by Renaud de Stefanis, president and coordinator at CIRCE, Conservation, Information, and Research, a research group based in Spain, is that orcas like the feel of a boat's rudder. What we think is that they're asking to have the propeller in the face, de Stefanis told NPR last year. So when they encounter a sailboat that isn't running its engine, they get kind of frustrated, and that's why they break the rudder. Well, fresh Frustration doesn't seem playful if you ask me. A picture taken on May 31st shows the rudder of a vessel damaged by killer whales while sailing in the Strait of Gibraltar and taken for repairs at the Pechi shipyard in Barbate near Cadiz, southern Spain. I hope I pronounced all those correctly. In another recent encounter, Werner Schaffelberger told the German publication Yacht that his vessel, Champagne, was approached by two smaller and one large orca off Gibraltar. The little one shook the rudder at the back while the big one repeatedly backed up and rammed the ship with full force from the side, he said. The Spanish Coast Guard rescued rescued Schaffelberger and his crew, towing champagne to the Spanish port of Barbate, or Barbate. I'm going to say Barbate, it sounds better. But the vessel sank before reaching safety. Since 2020, there have been more than 500 encounters between yachts and orcas in the area. According to one of the study's co-authors, Alfredo Lopez Fernandez, a biologist at the University of Aveiro in Portugal and a representative of the Grupo de Trabajo Orca Atlantica, or Atlantic Orca Working Group. Lopez Fernandez believes that a female known as White Gladys, who leads the group of around 40 animals, may have had a traumatizing encounter with a boat or fishing net. In an act of revenge, she is teaching her pod mates how to carry out revenge attacks with her encouragement, researchers believe. Here we got a picture of the champagne. The orcas are doing this on purpose, of course. We don't know the origin or motivation, but defensive behavior based on trauma as the origin of all of this gains more strength for us every day, Lopez Fernandez told Live Science. It's an intriguing possibility, says Monica Whelan Shield, director of the Orca Behavior Institute. I definitely think orcas are capable of complex emotions like revenge, she said. I don't think we can completely rule it out. How However, Shields is not ready to sign on to the revenge hypothesis just yet. She says that despite humans having given a lot of opportunities for orcas to respond to us in aggressive behavior, there are no other examples of them doing so. Deborah Giles, a science and research director at Wild Orca, a conservation group based in Washington State, is also skeptical of the hypothesis. She points out that killer whale populations in waters off of Washington were highly targeted in the past as a source for aquariums. She says seal bombs, small charges that fishers throw into the water in an effort to scare sea lions away from their nets, were dropped in their path while helicopters and boats herded them into coves. The pod never attacked boats after that, she says. It just doesn't ring true to me. Shield says it's important to remember that whatever the motive is for the behavior of the orcas off the Iberian coast, it isn't being transmitted to pods in other parts of the world. We've had folks here in Washington asking, is it safe to go out in the water here with these orcas, she says. While this is kind of an ongoing situation that in that specific place, I don't think there's any reason to think it's going to start spreading to other populations of orcas. Now, just from the video that I watched the other day, orcas are extremely intelligent and it wouldn't surprise me if it spread to other orcas. Uh, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think about uh, these orcas attacking boats? Do you think we're going to continue to see that over the next little bit of time? Or do you think it's just an isolated incident? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. My name is Rich, and this has been your 5-Minute Fix.